This generation of graphics cards kicked off with the 4090, the fastest card to ever release and everybody was hyped. You can see here that the keynote, the hour 40 minute keynote that had about two minutes talking about the RTX 4090 in it has almost 20 million views on YouTube. It's like this generation is gonna be insane. And also the AMD launch, introducing the 7900 XTX, this really beautiful cinematic trailer, fully animated, amazing. 4.6 million views. Then you see the RTX 4070. Yeah, this generation in general, it doesn't seem like people are that excited about it, especially at this point in time. We can easily see, even with a car like the 7900X, this thing was priced so poorly, it, it started at $900, and within a few months of it launching, it's $120 below MSRP. And I would tend to agree with not an Apple fan here, this card should probably go all the way down to under $700 by the end of the year. I think the 7900 uh, XT will be sub $700 by Christmas or $700. And if it really wants to be exciting, down to like 650 or $600, which I'm not sure if that'll happen, but because its performance for $900 and two years of waiting for a generation, wasn't anything that impressive. We see here that it was about the performance of a 3090 Ti, like pretty much an exact match. That isn't the only card from this generation that has already dropped in price even so soon after its launch. The RTX 4080 was basically another flop and it has been lower than this. I've seen it for $1,160, but this card's MSRP is $1,200. It hasn't really taken that long for it to go down in price, especially when there's basically no competition at this $1,200 mark. The most recent one was the RTX 4070. This launched just like a week ago. Typically when you see a graphics card launch, it's pretty much sold out. It's a top seller. All of these cards are still at MSRP and doesn't really seem like people are buying them. You even see here from a possible rumor from Igor's lab, there is a rebate promotion that is possibly coming to consumers. You might be able to give your card, if it was an MSRP price 4070, you might be able to get a rebate of $50 on those cards. That means that you're basically buying it for $550. It seems like the card would probably be a really attractive buy at about 500, the same price of the RTX 3070 of last generation. So this really brings up the question of what's coming next. Now we have barely any word on AMD, so I'm just not going to talk about AMD's lower end SKUs yet. But the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti have had quite a bit of leaks already. Now here are what the rumored specs look like for the RTX 4060 and 4060 Ti. But if we're going anything off of what these other cards are looking like, 4070 seems to be very, very close in comparison to the 3080. 4070 Ti um, seems to be really close to a 3090, like basically the same card. So if we could assume anything, it's that the 4060 and 4060 Ti, the 4060 Ti is probably going to be looking like around a 3070 Ti to a 3070 in performance, and the 4060 will be around a 3070 to 3060 Ti in performance. Logically, as you get on the stack, you would think that it'd be 4070 at $600, 4060 Ti at $500, 4060 at $400. Maybe they've had to adjust this card at a rumored price of $450 just because they had to drop the price of the 4070. The scariest part about this is I still don't think this $450 is gonna be enough because if this card performs anywhere in the range of a 3070 to 3070 Ti, and if we look at these rumored specs of it, that it's supposed to have eight gigabytes of VRAM. Know anything about the 3070 and 3070 Ti, you know that that is a problem, okay? That is not enough VRAM to even run some of the latest games that are coming out this generation, let alone what's gonna come out in a few years. That is just not enough. So these cards might be dead on arrival, and I hate to say that and just be a doomer, but I. I'm honestly like, how did they make the same mistake twice? Because the 3070 already had just the same VRAM of a graphics card that was its in, in its same family six and a half years ago. Same with the RX 480 that came out in that same generation. I can't imagine that they make this mistake again and it just disappoints me a lot. <laughs> that they're supposed to come out in May. This hardware is probably already final and GPU leaks all these 4070 leaks were completely accurate. It would surprise me if these were wrong. These cards, I think, need to come in even cheaper because you can't release a 4060 Ti that has maybe around 3070 performance at almost the same price 
and it still only have eight gigabytes of VRAM. I think it would be an attractive card at about $400. And I think the 4070 would be an attractive card at $500. It also makes me think that maybe these leaks don't have the entire picture. Maybe they are going to release another card, like a 4060 Ti 12 gigabyte edition that also has just so that you buy that one instead basically like a little upsell it wasn't even that long ago in the rtx 30 series they released a 3060 which had 12 gigabytes of vram which actually technically had more vram but at a lower speed than what the rtx 3080 had the 3080 launched with 10 gigabytes versus 12 gigabytes in the 3060. They had to make the 3060 an attractive offer in some way because it was significantly slower than the 3060 Ti. But the 3060 Ti only had eight gigabytes of VRAM. So it's like, oh, do you get more VRAM or do you get the 3060 Ti with less, but it's faster. When back some consumer trust, they really need to offer these cards at a much lower price at eight gigabytes of VRAM because obviously they're gonna have problems in games. Now you guys are all gonna talk about the pricing and everything. I am aware that inflation is a thing. Like if you were to take $500, even just a couple years, almost three years ago now, in 2020, in October, back when the 3070 released, if you calculate this to March of 2023, it has, it's about worth $580 now. But the thing about it, if Nvidia and AMD want these graphics cards to sell, they have to make them exciting to the consumer. And to be honest, the average consumer doesn't feel the effect of inflation until a way longer time than the companies do. So they want these cards to be attractive to people and actually sell, then they still have to price them low and, and maybe their margins aren't as big, but they have to take that hit if they want to sell the cards. It's almost looking like they don't want to sell the cards. And I have a theory of why that's the case. Especially off of this last generation, AMD and Nvidia were coming off of the chip shortage and obviously the mining boom, which it was obvious that they could price cards extremely high. If you're in a company, your public company that wants to impress your investors and you want to make profit just in general for your company, it is in AMD and Nvidia's best interest to try to maintain those margins. That is precisely why they started these cards at higher prices, because you can't start low and then sell them higher later on, but you can start them high and start to drop the price. Now, the only cost that it has to the companies is their reputation, basically. So they sacrifice part of their reputation with the consumer and their trust to try to make some more money. And it doesn't seem like that worked. And now we see the price of the cards are starting to come down, especially with like the VRAM being a big problem and everything and the prices being out of whack. It wouldn't surprise me, and Nvidia has done this before with the 20 series, is they did a mid-season or mid-release refresh with the super cards. In order to basically make an excuse, price the super cards at the MSRP of what the old cards were, and then drop the price of the old cards. And maybe the super cards would have more VRAM in them. Who really knows? That'd be that'd be a good option for a lot of people. And that'd also artificially bring down the price of the older cards, which were had bad MSRPs to start. And then those, those cards, like the 4070, might actually look attractive at that point. What if we got a 4070, once there's a 4070 Super, if that does happen, went down to $500 or even $450. And all of a sudden, that sounds like a really good buy. People after value and stuff, it doesn't seem like they're that interested in what is out there to offer. And Nvidia, at least, and possibly partly AMD, trying to sell us on features like DLSS 3 and AV1 support. And it doesn't seem like a lot of people really care about those, especially once you get down to the more budget range, just purely focused raw performance gamers. It doesn't seem like the interest is that high. Well, even considering all the hate that's with this generation, there is still a market of such for people to buy it. If you're buying components for your first PC, you're getting into PC gaming, or you're looking to upgrade any anyway, it's not like any of these cards have honestly been bad value, maybe except for the 4080. So if you are just upgrading or getting into PC gaming, just buying a card right now, it's not like it's a bad deal. It just isn't anything exciting that's gonna bring new people into it. Also, it is to consider with this new generation, it seems like the used market is looking as good as ever, pretty much. Now, it seems like the new cards, like the 
4070 should put some pressure. But yeah, a lot of good used deals are out there. And what do you guys think about this generation? Are the 4060 and 4060 Ti just gonna be dead on arrival? That really scares me because those cards are the cards that most people can actually afford. That mid-range card that usually offers the best value of the generation, usually comparing to the 80 class card of last generation, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be like that this time. If you watched all the way through this video, please subscribe to the channel. It, it helps the channel grow, helps us, you know, big community out here. I probably should be saying that more. It is what it is though, but that's it for me. And I'll see you guys in the comments. I do read a lot of the comments, by the way. I might not respond to everything, but I read, I read a good bit of them. And then I'll see you guys in the next video as well. And uh, have a good one. Peace.